On day 36, I played Raiders Peace Control Map. This is the V3 version of the map, but soon I'm gonna play Raiders Peace Control Map V2. Just because it's V2, it doesn't mean it's bad. It may be a little outdated, but it's still gonna help a beginner like myself. I used to play Raiders Peace Control Map V2 back in the day, and I remember some drills that would help me get more familiar with my bonds. On day 37, I played Solo Arena. In Solo Arena, I'm landing at Frenzy Fields. There's not a ton of people there like Mega City, but it's also not a ghost town. It's like a medium POI. I could get some all spawn fighting practice in, but it's not gonna be way too populated. Because I'm still a beginner to keep with a mouse, so I wanna be able to make it out of the POI. If I land on Mega City, I'm not gonna be able to make it to the mid game to then practice my mid game fighting. But eventually we'll get there. One tip I have for you if you're a beginner to keyboard and mouse or you plan on switching to keyboard and mouse is to slant your keyboard. I tried to switch to keyboard and mouse in the past and I couldn't and I think the main reason for that was because my keyboard was not slanted because I couldn't hit my binds properly. And all the pros do it so it definitely helps. You can slant it however you want, whatever is more comfortable for you. You can see I'll have my keyboard slanted from my hand cam. On day 38, I played solo arena again. And by the way, I do not care about my arena points. I'm fighting everyone I see so I can get better at fighting and so I can get more fighting experience. And I'm not running away from no fights. And I'm just saying this because if you see the gameplay over the days, you might see I'm still at the same arena points or I'm losing arena points. But that's because I'm fighting everyone and I'm still a beginner to keep with a mouse, so I'm going to die a lot. Arena points don't determine your skill. I'll get 10,000 arena points when I can win fights consistently. I'm here to get better mechanically and to become a better fighter. I'm not going to become that if I'm running away from fights and disengaging a lot. Day 39, I played Solo Arena once more. If you're still thinking about switching to keyboard and mouse but you haven't yet, one thing I want to tell you is for me personally, switching to keyboard and mouse made Fortnite way more refreshing. It made Fortnite fun again. It's fun learning a new input. When learning a new input, you're able to play the game that you've been playing for years differently. Like for example, now I'm able to abuse global reset. I wasn't able to do that on controller. So I'm able to learn a new playstyle, which is fun. Because obviously I'm not gonna play the same on a new input.
On day 40, I played 32 man zone wars. Zone wars is good practice because you're gonna have to storm on your back, so it helps you in those pressure situations. And in game, at the end of the game, if the storm is on your back, you won't choke because you're used to it. Also, if you want to learn how to play end game, these 32 man zone wars are good for that. Like if you're a beginner to keep with a mouse and you want to start playing tournaments and scrims, then 32 man zone wars will give you an idea on how to play end game. On day 41, I played Ballistic PvP. This is a good map to practice your fighting. This is also a good map to warm up your fighting. So before you hop into an arena game, a tournament, or a pub game, you can play this map to warm up your fighting. And it will of course warm up your mechanics and your aim. And your fingers. If you have any constructive criticism for me, whether it's in my gameplay, like me doing a bad peek, or it's in my training routine, like I should be doing something, or I should stop doing something, then let me know in the comments. On day 42, I played one-on-one -on -one build fights. One thing I really like about keyboard and mouse is the flicking. For example, on controller, if you want to take someone's wall, you have to be a little bit away from the wall. Because on controller, your sensitivity is too slow, so if you used to go all up to the wall and try to break it and then look down instantly and try to place a wall, it would not work on controller because your sensitivity is way too slow. On keyboard and mouse, I can go all up to the wall. What I mean by go up to the wall is like I'm kissing the wall. And then I break it with my pickaxe, I can flick down so I'm looking at the floor. I can place the wall, then I can flick back up and then make my edit, shoot the opponent, reset the wall. I don't know if that made sense, but I tried to explain it the best way that I could. But you can't do that on controller, so that was one of the things that held me back on controller. That's it for me. Like up the video, comment if you have any questions, subscribe to turn on post notifications so you never miss a future upload. I'll holla at ya. Peace.